Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show Traveling Road Show Edition from the Rick Helps Real Estate Travel Trailer. Before I start sharing some numbers on the uh, Arizona real estate market, uh, how about we talk about the weather for just a minute? It's the 2nd of March, last night on the 1st of March, we had what I would consider summer monsoon weather blow through the valley and winter storms through the rest of the state. I think Flagstaff got two feet, roads closed everywhere, tornado warning in the East Valley, snow in North Scottsdale. And down here at Rocky Point, Mexico, we had all day 40 mile an hour winds. Now, put out a video the other day bragging how I got this great spot right next to the beach. I was not bragging that much yesterday. It was getting sandblasted all day. I have been digging sand out of every opening on this trailer all morning this morning, including my ears. And I was expecting to see all the paint off of the back of my RV this morning. My next door neighbor, he lost his Starlink satellite dish. It was up on this pole that he had. The whole thing blew down and it chipped the corner and it no longer works. So it was a brutal, brutal day here. Continued well into the night. So um, today, sunny, beautiful. I'm looking at the weather in the rear view mirror. So let's talk about real estate. And now the purpose of this channel, and you've heard me say a lot, is to help you stay on top of the numbers so that you can understand where the numbers are today and where the trends are in the Arizona real estate market. So not only can you be well educated on what's going on so you can see what I see, but you can also be a hit at all the cocktail parties. So what that means is you'll know when you see a high number and a low number and what it means in perspective for the market. A lot of sensationalism on YouTube, a lot of debates, a lot of people beating each other up. Oh, you real estate agents, you just have YouTube channels because you want to convince people to buy. That's up to you. Um, I'm not going to convince you it's a good time to buy or a good time to sell. I'm going to share the numbers with you. What I don't like, some of the headlines I'm seeing. I'm looking at my computer right now. There's one that says sales decline minus 24.2% Seattle real estate crash. Just because sales decline doesn't mean it's a crash. How is that in relationship to last year? Sales are down, I think, almost 40% in the uh, Phoenix area. Why is that? Well, because it was absolutely bonkers last year. Some of the numbers that we look at, I look at, and again, this isn't to tell you um, it's always a good time to buy because we get accused of that all the time. But I track the seven-day moving average, and here's something interesting. And I'm just talking about where we're at today. Where are we going to be six months from now? I don't know. I'm not even going to attempt to do that because not even the big guys get that right. But today, seven-day moving average, I look at the number of new listings that come on and the number of new listings that go under contract, and we have what I call a 93% absorption rate. 93% of the new listings that came on went under contract. Back when house prices started going down last year, that absorption rate was 53%. So are prices going to come down right now at 93%? No. Does it matter that sales are down 40% or that listings are up 200%? It's the relationship between the two. Let's look at a car lot. Go in a car lot. They've got 100 cars for sale. They have 100 people there looking for cars. The prices are going to be relatively balanced. If there's 100 cars on the parking lot and you have 400 people on the lot looking for homes, they're going to be able to get whatever asking price they want for those cars. Conversely, if they have 100 cars in the lot, there's only five people there, they better deep discount them. So that's how I explain the absorption rate on how many listings that we have coming on the market. The other thing that's interesting to watch right now is the contract ratio. It's at 63%. You want a headline that's sensational? Contract ratio doubles in the first quarter of 2023. It did. We were 32%, 31% in Q4, and now we're at 63%. That doesn't mean that prices are going to come flying down right now. The other thing that you're seeing a lot of headlines on is foreclosures are up 400%. Well, we had a moratorium. So there was a forbearance period, so there were only 50 foreclosures in the valley. And right now we have 500 pre-foreclosures. If you're out looking for a foreclosure right now, good luck. You won't find one. And if you do find one, the bank's not going to give it away because they don't have to. So the headlines that say that foreclosures are up 400%, the percentage number is correct. But don't get caught up in what that is. 
Our inventory is up 300%. Good. I wish it was up 500%. Compared to what? There's one YouTuber out there that's trying to say, based on the seven-year average of Phoenix inventory, we are out of control. We're nowhere near out of control. We have 14,800 homes on the market currently. If you really want to look at our average, it's about 27,000. You have to ignore 2020, 2021, 2022 when it comes to inventory because we got down to a low of 4,800 homes at one point. So if we go up 200%, is that alarming? No, that's welcome. Let's hope we go up 200%. We need more inventory. We need more choices. What we're seeing now is with interest rates going up, people are deciding not to sell even more than they were before because they aren't going to get out of their 3% interest rate and pay one now that's almost 7 But wait, isn't 7% going to kill sales? I thought it would, but it hasn't gone down yet. So I'm looking at the 7-day moving average. I'm waiting for that number to move. It's still at 3300 today, so it hasn't gone down. So I'm waiting to see what happens with that. We'll continue to follow that, and we'll keep you on track here. If those are the numbers you like to see, be sure and subscribe to this channel. Do me a favor and hit the like button, and let's hope these storms are over. Thank you.